Don't you remember? Take a moment to look back at your memories. First, think about what you did earlier today, from the conversations you had and who you had them with, to what you ate for breakfast. Dig a bit deeper, looking at the past year, and try to remember some special events that might have happened, such as birthdays, meeting people who have become significant in your life. I'm Paige. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Leo. Now take all of these memories from the past year and hold them in your mind. And now, imagine they are gone. You lost them. You forgot everything that has happened in the past year. The hot guy or pretty girl you met a couple months ago and now are dating, you don't even know they exist. What I just talked you through is essentially what happens with retrograde amnesia. Retrograde amnesia is the inability to recall events or information that happened before a certain point in time. Although one is unable to remember past memories, they are still able to create new memories. This is exactly what happened to Paige Collins in the movie The Vow. And don't think that just because this phenomenon took place in a movie that it could never transpire in real life. The Vow is actually inspired by a true story. It is based on the accounts of Kim and Cricket Carpenter from their book, The Vow, The Kim and Cricket Carpenter Story. Just like the real life story of the Carpenters, in The Vow, Paige Collins and her husband Leo are involved in a serious car accident. The couple, happily married for four years, were heading home from watching a movie at the theater one snowy night. At a stop sign, Paige unbuckles her seatbelt to lean over to kiss Leo when suddenly, a truck rams into the back of their car, causing Paige to fly out through the windshield, hitting her head in the process. They are both rushed to the emergency room. Leo is fine after the accident, but Paige is kept in a drug-induced coma so that her brain can reduce its swelling. When she recovers, all her memories from the past five years are missing. She doesn't even remember her husband, or even meeting him. This is painfully apparent to Leo when she mistakenly thinks he is her doctor. Hey, you, you know who I am, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> You're my doctor. Cases of retrograde amnesia, such as the one portrayed in The Vow through the character of Paige Collins, have occurred to others as well. There is a case of retrograde amnesia concerning a 13-year-old girl that was presumed to have hit her head after falling down some stairs. Just like Paige, this girl developed a specific type called isolated retrograde amnesia. Isolated retrograde amnesia is a type of retrograde amnesia that is not accompanied with anterograde amnesia, which is an inability to create new memories after the incident that caused the amnesia, but the memories formed before the incident are still intact. It is often temporarily graded where memories from closer to the incident causing the retrograde amnesia are more likely to be lost compared to more remote memories. Retrograde amnesia can affect episodic or semantic memories. Episodic memories are memories for personal experiences that you are able to travel back in time with and can reconnect with. This is in contrast to semantic memories, which are facts or knowledge about the world that you are familiar with and know about, but aren't tied to a personal experience. The movie The Vow both portrays retrograde amnesia and doesn't portray retrograde amnesia. I know you're probably scratching your heads wondering how this is possible. Well, let me tell you. Paige loses her memory prior to the traumatic event, which is characteristic of retrograde amnesia. She can't remember her husband, Leo, or the fact that they even met. A total shame because he is pretty cute. The fact that she quit law school to become an artist and the fact that she hadn't spoken to her family in five years. Those are all episodic memories. She doesn't even know that Barack Obama is now the President of the United States, a semantic memory. The last thing she says she remembers is ordering ravioli at a restaurant. All of these factors are indicative of retrograde amnesia as it shows that it affects memories encoded before the onset and is temporally graded. It also seemed to spare her skilled performance, known as procedural memory, which is evident in her ability to perform actions she had previously performed before her traumatic brain injury. She is able to sculpt, even though she has no recollection of acquiring the skill. The movie also accurately depicts how someone who suffers from retrograde amnesia may never regain their memories, no matter how hard they try. This is seen when Leo tries to use the effects of jogging by exposing Paige to stimuli from their past, like photos of them and video of their wedding vows. Nevertheless, Paige unfortunately can't seem to remember meeting or being married to her husband. One of the ways the movie failed in the portrayal of retrograde amnesia is the fact that Paige's memories just suddenly stop five years prior to her injury. With a real case of retrograde amnesia, memory doesn't stop so abruptly. There is more of a grey area, with memories that have been overlearned staying intact. For example, this is why Paige could still remember who her parents were and what their names were and even the fights they had. The movie also fails to take into account the other detrimental effects of such a traumatic brain injury. 
It fails to recognise the various cognitive and or behavioural changes that someone goes through when they suffer from retrograde amnesia. When someone suffers from amnesia, they are never truly the person they were before the amnesia. In the case of Paige, she regained her personality from five years prior to the accident. She seemed to find her way back to art school and becomes re-enlightened. This is simply not the case in reality, as sufferers can become completely different people from whom they were before the accident. They can stay somewhat the same, but rarely revert back to the personality type from the period of their lives they last remember. So the hot guy or the pretty girl that fell in love with you might not still love the person you become after getting retrograde amnesia. Overall, the movie The Vow depicts retrograde amnesia accurately in terms of the memory deficits. However, it lacks in portraying the various behavioural and cognitive challenges that one may face. Don't you 